On Friday, after a disastrous visit to England, the president headed off to Scotland. Of course, Scotland is indeed part of the United Kingdom. So, while the president left England, he did not leave the UK. The fact that Scotland is part of the UK is something the White House is apparently unaware of. In a now-deleted tweet, the official Twitter account for the White House tweeted writing, Today, at Riald and Aldrup and at Flotus had tea with Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II at Windsor Castle before departing the UK. Twitter users immediately pointed out the error. Scotland has been a part of the UK since 1707. In 2014 there was a Scottish independence referendum that failed. Emma Kennedy tweeted he's still in UK, idiots. Mark Vang tweeted, we're dealing with a POTUS that doesn't recognize any US territories outside the 50 states so, good luck explaining the UK Great Britain thing. Another user explained how the United Kingdom works tweeting, dear White House England, Wales, Scotland, plus Northern Ireland equals UK. England, Wales, plus Scotland equals Great Britain. England equals England. The president will unwind in Scotland at his Turnberry Golf Resort. Trump owns two golf courses in Scotland, and his mother was born in Scotland before immigrating to the United States. His connections to Scotland do not help his image in the country. Trump was greeted by protest upon his arrival in Scotland. On Friday night, a Greenpeace protester paraglided over Trump's Turnberry Golf Resort with a banner reading Trump, well below par. During a round of golf, protesters can be heard chanting no Trump, no KKK, no racist USA. Trump has been met with large-scale protests throughout his time in the UK. On Friday, while the president had tea with the Queen, 250,000 protesters took to the streets in central London to protest his visit 